Hello, my mofos! How do I get a link to the stream? I promised I would put a link to the stream in the Discord. Uh... Yeah, there we go. <coughs> <coughs> that wasn't too bad, actually. Right! Welton, welcome to Coding Stream 2, Electric Boogaloo. What did we do yesterday? More importantly, what have I done overnight? Hey, Coco! Overnight, I have added paging quite a big deal. Makes it much better for navigating. I've limited the length of a game name, so we can't get any more of these shenanigans. <clears throat> I've been a big meanie. Yeah, I spoil all Coco's fun. I made it so that you can't do this, but I let, I let Coco keep one of these. For posterity. As you can see, Coco's been going a bit crazy with the tests, which is good. It's helped me out quite a bit. Am I assigned to any games? Good. <clears throat> so, that's what we did. What are we going to do today? Let's look at our list. What have we got in the list? Ignore that. Add the ability to leave a game. I feel like that is something we want. We should make rooms save convos. Yes, we should. And we'll do that at some point. But those rooms are not going to be real rooms. I'm going to get rid of those rooms. And I'm going to have a separate room for each game. And a separate room for each <clears throat> channel. For each session within a game. So each game will have a room. Think of a game as being like a chat room. And people who are players can join it. I might allow spectators in games who can read it but they can't post. I don't know. We'll think about that. But for now... Shit, what was I going to do? The ability to leave a game. So on details, we have if you own the game, you can edit it. should be an allowance kind of deal. How do you mean? The owner can allow people to do it. Yeah, which they do by, um... Oh, I see. Um... Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Possibly. Potentially. So as well as adding players, they could add, like, spectators. Or set it to be open to everyone as an option, right? Okay. Uh, if view data user ID equals model dot this is everyone who's a player. If model dot app user games dot any I should add a thing so you can submit things you want so you don't spam the stream. Um Yeah, I probably should, eh? 
like a a requests thingy. Let's just have this for now. It's not gonna be not gonna be nice. Leave game. Uh, you're gonna stop suggesting till that's up. The easiest way would be a Discord thing, but it just get filled with spam. As always, everything gets filled with spam. Not that I'm blaming any one person in particular for that. But we all know there's one person who spams. Yoink. Maybe Beasley starts it, yeah. I guess that's true. Uh, leave game. Let's get the game. Get the user. If current game App user games, any... I feel like this isn't going to work. App user ID equals... Uh, user.id If you're not in the game, you can't leave the game. And then current game app user games remove uh, actually um, my register is <laughs> a chance to your honor yeah I guess my player equals first or default then we can say if my player equals null return unauthorized because you've been screwing about it's the only way you could reach that state otherwise current game Uh, otherwise, context app user games remove my player. Hey, Bondarenko! And then context app user games save. Context dot save. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that Bondarenko is not interested in playing C and D. But you never know. So that might work. I feel like it's not gonna work, but let's find out. Stranger things have happened than my code working the first time. You've been warned about the spam, Coco. You have been warned. Playing games. So if I go in here, into details, edit, edit. I think it's the second one I want. 405? What's a 405? Method not allowed. Well, that's just not true, is it? That's just not true. 
I think it's because I specified post. <clears throat> Let's strip off the post. See if that works any better. Uh, I started streaming on time. You're at work and bored. Well, you should be working at work if you think about it. Not that I am one to tell someone how to live their life. Four oh one, not authorized. That just can't be true. Let's see what's going on. Also, let's change this from edit. So it gets the user. The current game. It's not loading the app users. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, include app user games. No. Gay app user games load. Load async. That might work. I think Bondarenko has been asked many times if they want to join the Discord server. And the answer is always no. And you know what? That is a okay. Uh, current game, please have loaded them. Good, 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 good. Nice. Not nice. It almost worked. <clears throat> But you know what? That's okay. Uh, all we need to do is... That. Sure. And now we should be able to leave a game. I don't know where you work. Four oh one. Why am I getting a four oh one now? Well, because I removed that, right? Not Bob. Who are we logged in as? We logged in as not Bob. We are logged in as not Bob. We're logged... Oh, I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. They don't call me Callum the Idiot for nothing. I said find the first user who isn't you. And remove them. Now it'll work. It's my Discord and I rule it with an iron fist. As Coco found out to his chagrin this morning. I'm turning into a dictator. I keep getting pushed to the limit. I start off saying, do what you want guys, I don't like to restrict people's behaviour. And then they push it too far. Over and over again. A bunch of line steppers. <laughs> you did easily bribe me. I'm not gonna, not gonna deny that. 
you did get off quite easy. But I'm hoping that you learnt your lesson. Right, the only thing I need to do now is stop this being called edit. Um, leave game. <laughs> you did get a new role. I shouldn't have punished you for your misdemeanors. Games I'm playing, none. So if I go back to my games, I add a user. I feel like that shouldn't be in the ad edit screen. I feel like this link should be on the other screen. Not Bob. Add myself. Good. Leave game. Sort of good. You just discovered what I look like and it's ruined your image of me in your head. Well, that's disappointing, isn't it? Ooh, look, that's not good. There, it's got the nice single dots. But if I go to edit, it's still stretched out. I was in your head, faceless fat man. <laughs> faceless fat man. <laughs> I am not a faceless fat man. I never really like... <clears throat> people talking about my chat videos. They're from what, like three years ago? They're a bit, um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna say cringe, but they don't represent the current me. But they do represent what I look like. Why is that doing that Here's my little fix, Coco. There's my fix that stops you screwing me over. Look, that should be updating. Oh, I didn't put it in the create. Answer you? Answer you about what? Do I post photos in Discord? Not usually photos of myself. Sometimes I post photos of like... When I go out on walks and stuff. Uh, create. Yeah, I am doing that. Look. Oh, I think I did that pre-test. Um... Maybe? Let's add a new game. I should do a create new in this drop down. Look at that. Then look at that. Why does it bring the spaces back? How does Coco know what I look like? <clears throat> he did explain it. He did explain it. About three years ago, when I first created my channel, I did some little chats in front of a webcam. 
At the time I started my channel, I was trying to improve my public speaking. That's why I made my channel. Because I was terrible at speaking in public. And I thought a YouTube channel is quite a good way to learn how to do it. And I think it served me well. I think I'm pretty good at it these days. But back then I was terrible, so don't expect anything great. But that is how he knows what I look like. You would do that, but it'd reveal your age. Well, true, you don't want to do that, man. You don't want us to know that you're really a 50-year-old man. A 50-year-old faceless fat man, like you think I am. Why is it showing them in edit with the spaces? Are they in the database with spaces? Because they shouldn't be. Let's probably look at the right database. When you said faceless, you meant you couldn't visualize my face. <laughs> oh look, they are stored in the database with the spaces. They shouldn't be. Um... In fact, this should be stopping them. Unless my regular expression isn't working. But I really thought it was. Let's have a look. Clouded in darkness. My life is clouded in darkness. That's just not true at all, but I thought it was suitable. An appropriate thing to say. Yeah, look, my regular expression isn't working. I really thought that'd work, you know? Interestingly, it displays it without the spaces. <clears throat> so I guess I'm okay with it. As long as it displays it without them, I don't really care. People want to put extra spaces in their names, so be it. Right, so we've added the ability to leave rooms. Let's push that. Added ability to leave a game. Nope, don't push. We want to publish. <coughs> and then... Do I hide my age? No. Why would I hide my age? I bet even Coco knows how old I am. You don't, but it's in the Discord, man. It's in the fabled Discord. We talk about it all the time. It doesn't matter. Well, that's true. I am 75 years old. If 
that as a child I was bathed in essential oils, and so I didn't age. <laughs> I look 30 in my chats. Yeah, that's accurate. Coco, this one's annoying me. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to kill it. You figured I hide my age because I hide my name. Yeah, that's a fair assumption. I'll let you keep the one with no text, but the one with massive text, I'm sorry, but it has to go. That's just what I want you to think, Coco. What did I just change? Oh, I got rid of it, so this was nice. There we go. That's why I had to delete it, Coco. Ooh, I don't like that that jumps up there. I don't like that that jumps up there. Uh, for now, we're just doing some quality of life stuff. I can live with it for now. Right. On the note of not wanting to stream because it would show your age. We've added the ability to leave a game. Add some way of filtering out spam games. I think Brian was happy with the solution. You do have a second account that you have videos on, but you're not posting it. That's okay, man. I've got three other accounts that I have videos on. Three. Uh, add creation of a character for a game a user is playing in. Should we do that? <clears throat> or should we hold off? I think we should move the chat rooms. I think we should move the chat rooms into the games. Uh, to do that, that's actually going to be a bit awkward, but that's fine. Character saving. You think we should do character saving? Maybe we should do character saving. Let's add... as an option in details. <coughs> yeah, okay, let's do that. So for that, we need for that we need a user to have a collection of characters. So we need to add a new model called character and a character has an ID a name and just be saved to each game no 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 save to the user it's gonna be much easier okay. 
It's actually going to be saved to both. Um, so it will have a public app user owner. And it will have a public game game. <laughs> That's really funny, Bondarenko. Don't apologize, Coco. Don't apologize. Never apologize, Coco. Never apologize. Unless it's for something utterly meaningless. Don't let people shame you for talking, Coco. Don't do it. So, a character has to have a name. Uh, an ID. They also have to have a name. And for the name, I'm going to impose the same restrictions. I'm not having Coco make a bunch of people with zero names. They have to have an owner. And they have to have a game. Why don't I want him to apologize? Because he shouldn't, he doesn't have to apologize. And apologizing is an act of weakness. Apologizing is admitting fault when realistically Coco has done nothing wrong. So we have a character, they have an owner. So in here, I think we need to do some of this whack stuff. Although I'm not sure we actually need it anymore, to be honest. Um, builder, entity, I'm gonna try without adding that stuff. I'm gonna see what happens. Uh That's right, Coco, be assertive. Uh bu -bu 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 -bu. Add migration. It is a weakness. Um, adding character. That is going to update games. Why is it not going to add character? Uh, Let's go back to that. Remove migration. If you apologize, people will take that and they will run with it. <clears throat> they will see that you are easily cowed and you will end up apologizing for more and more stuff. And you will end up changing your behavior 
when you shouldn't have to. So don't apologise. Unless you've like accidentally punched someone in the face, then it's okay to apologise. I think I do need to add this stuff, which is annoying. No, wait, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Whew. I think I just need to add it here. Yeah, exactly, when it's actually needed. But if you feel you haven't done anything wrong, you should never apologise. Um, character. Characters. Let's try that again. Adding characters. Ah, this looks better. This looks perfect. Uh, Update database. So now, in here, we have our characters table. Nice. Now we can only specify a name right now, but that's okay. We'll add a description. Oh, I was going to add a description to games, huh? So then I want to add a new controller. Yeah, that's fine. The model is character. Nice. <clears throat> Is that what I wanted? No. Let's do that again. And before I do that, um, added database migration. In fact, no, just added character table to DB. Now, if I break anything, we can revert it. Let's try adding a controller again. MVC controller with read writes. Yeah. Uh... I feel like that should have asked me more questions than it did. Let's delete that. There's a way to get it to generate it, because that's what I did with games, right? Maybe I need to do it here. Add view. Aha! Create <clears throat> character 
view name create that's gonna do it in the wrong place let's see what that does I think it's gonna put it down here which we don't want Did it even create a controller? No. What am I missing? I feel like I'm missing something. Add controller. MVC controller with views. There we go. I'm such a fool. Character add That's exactly what I was after. So now, in the details, we want, if you are a player, when characters are done, as well as game chat rooms are done, we should play a game of C and E. It won't quite be ready at that point. Um, create, um, game ID, ASP controller, is characters, create character. <clears throat> And I think that'll work. We need to add the logic, Coco, so it can... So that the arbiter... Can, um... I need to change add user to be in a different place, that's really annoying. Shit, which game was that? Which game was that? <clears throat> do we need that to play a game? Yeah, we do. We, well, we sort of do. User already added. So why isn't he showing up in the details? Oh, he is. <clears throat> and we have create character. King. Cobra. We could play it on Discord without special things. That is true. Why is that not creating? I should be going here. Oh, it is going here. The model state's not valid.
Two arrows. Oh, of course! Oh, I'm such a fool. Yeah, I can tell when questions are directed to me, don't worry. Don't you worry about that. Just say Coco. Or, you know, keep tagging him. It's all good. Uh, so you have name. We need a hidden... How do you do this? <clears throat> Games create only sends the name. <clears throat> Game create only sends the name. Oh, I haven't made the ID required. Okay. Uh, character. ID is no longer required. Um, public long owner ID. Ah. and public long game ID. <clears throat> you hope it's okay that you call me Callum? Yeah, I can get away with that. <laughs> I love how Mevib calls you Cococ. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> I don't mind you calling me Callum. It's fine, I can live with it. Uh, da, 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 da. I've got hidden IDs kicking about somewhere. Are they in edit? There we go. I'm not sure how to set a hidden ID. Do they go in the form group? No. Okay. I think they can do, but they mess up the... Uh... Something or other. <clears throat> so we need what? Game ID? And we need owner ID. And value is. <clears throat> if I go to Cal says Callum is Callum, Mevib is Mevib, Cal is Cal, and Coco is Stalin. Yeah, that sounds about right. Also, nice to see you, Cal. Create character. I'm getting rid of that binding. I don't like these bindings. It complains. Protect from overposting. No, sod off. And create has What did I say create had? Game ID. Uh... Okay. Then we want var character equals new character character dot game id equals game id character what? Uh, 
Oh, right, okay. Uh, you can't live with that I call you Bondarenko. You want me to call you by your name. Bondarenko is your name. Like if people called me Bradbury. Some people call me Bradbury. <laughs> Bindarenko. <laughs> That is a great typo, man. Um, that is a great typo. If game ID doesn't have a value, return bad request. Game ID dot value. I call people whatever they've called themselves on YouTube. If they want to be called something else, they need to change their name on YouTube. That's just how it is. It keeps life simple. And if there's one thing I value above all others, it's keeping life simple. So I can't say anything except the game ID at that point. How's the coding been? Have you seen the updates I've done? I've actually got quite a few updates. Now you can leave a game. Did that just take me out of two games? I feel like that just took me out of two games. Maybe I'm tripping. I think I'm tripping. I also added paging to the games, which I'm pretty happy about. I added a bunch of validation to stop people doing stuff like this. And now we're adding the ability to create characters. in between discussing random stuff in the chat. So I set the game ID, I return it to there, in create it has a character, I can say game at, uh, I don't think I need that, game ID value equals model game ID. I don't know if I need to do that, but I'll do it just to be safe. In fact, no, I won't. I'll delete it and see what happens. Did I leave all the games I'm playing in? No. Good. So I can create a character. I'm going to call him Coco. A database operation failed. Invalid column name owner ID 1. 
Why is it trying to do owner ID 1? I remove those. And in here, I do context games include. App user games. First or default. Uh, no, I don't need app user games. Um, games. First or default. ID equals game ID. If game equals null, return not found, and then I can just say character dot game equals game, right? Oh, I need to await because it's asynchronous, which means I need to make this asynchronous. Yeah. I'm not going to try and explain what asynchronous stuff is. But you can trust me on that one. Uh, so in here... Maybe that's all we need to do? Your picture's pretty good, Coco. Let's see if it works this time. Great character. Coco. Can I insert the value null into column game ID? Ah, good! Maybe. Possibly. Uh, let's put a breakpoint in here. Mm-hmm. 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 So it doesn't set it, so I do need that line. The line I deleted. Well, great. Uh, I'll steal one of these. And that is game. Uh, value equals model. Model dot game. This time going to pass the game through. I believe it with all my heart. Well, it didn't. Huh. Uh huh. So it's saying it there. Then in here, I'm saying game should have the value game.
and the model is what I pass in here, where game is set to game. Game can't possibly be null at that point. I might have to add some of those mappings. I really didn't want to add them. I wanted to try and avoid adding them. Yeah, look, game exists. Please don't talk into the microphone so suddenly and loud you're wearing headphones. Look. Sometimes it just has to be done! Welcome back, Coco. Why is game null? Why is game null? Game is model game. Uh, razor page. Set hidden input value. Does anyone know how to make YouTube use a voice changer microphone? All you have to do, Coco, is you don't make YouTube do it, you make your computer do it. So if you go to sound settings, see how you can choose your input device. You just change that and one of these, if you have voice changer software, one of these will be the voice changer. And then you can, then when you speak, that will go into your microphone instead of what you're actually saying. Maybe. Possibly. Alternatively, you would set it to... I don't know what you use for streaming to... YouTube. But what you would do is you would change you would change your device inside like in OBS you'd change your device here to be whichever one of these was your voice changer. But anyway, this isn't a stream about <clears throat> how to do voice changing. But there you go. That's how you would do it. Value. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Test your ASP.NET Core 2.0 knowledge with a quick test. Well, go on then. ASP.NET Core is an open sourced framework. ASP.NET Core applications can target which of the following? All of the above. ASP.NET Core supports which of the following platforms? All of the above. Which of the following is an entry point of an ASP.NET Core application? Main method of program class? By default, static files can be served from blank folder. 
www.root. The host for ASP.NET Core web application is configured in Startup? Shit, it might be Program CS. I think it's in Startup. ASP.NET Core web application uses blank as an internal web server by default. IIS? No, it can't use IIS. That's Windows specific. I'm going to say Kestrel. Every command in .NET Core command line interface starts with .NET. The startup class must include blank method, main. The blank method in startup class is used to register services with the IOC container. Configure? Which of the following is executed on each request in an ASP.NET Core application? Middleware. Middleware can be configured using instance of type iMiddleware? I don't know if it is iMiddleware. Also, we've gone way off track here, but I saw this quiz and I can't help myself. Middleware can be configured in blank method of startup. I think it's configure. Which of the following is an environment variable in the ASP.NET Core application? This one, because we used it yesterday. We used this yesterday. Which of the following extension methods allow us to configure custom error handling routes? Use exception handler. Which of the following middleware must be installed to serve static files in ASP.NET Core application? I don't know. Uh, static files? Seems obvious. Which of the following are the types of .NET Core applications? Portable, self-contained, A and B both. I don't know. None of the above, really, but let's go with A and B. A weird question. Blank applications can be installed and run on any platform without .NET Core. Runtime, self-contained. But then portable would be as well. Both. We should target which of the following code for sharing a .NET application. All of the above. Technically .NET standard, I think. To create logs in ASP.NET Core application, we need to get something object from I... We need the logger. Fourteen out of twenty. Oh, you know what? That's a pass. That might even be an A, depending on your grading system. What did I get wrong? Ah, oh, I thought it might be in program. Shoot. Oh, the startup class. I thought I said the program class. Yes, yeah, startup must have configure. Configure service, really? Is that true? Oh, it is configure services. I look at that all the time. You know what? That's fine. Application builder. Oh, of course it's the application builder. That's what gets passed into here. Self-contained. Don't know standard. Boo! Well, that was fun. Didn't get me any closer to my answer, but it was fun. Uh, I think... How do I get closer to my answer? 
Why isn't that working? I bet it has to be a string. Can I do ASP value? No. I bet it has to be a string. Okay, that means that I have to add these. Um, and that means that I have to add these. Build a entity um, character has one uh, owner and it has one game. Game has many characters. <clears throat> has foreign key. game ID. Then I want to steal that, do that there, <clears throat> make that owner ID, create that. I might have to migrate the database again. Uh, shouldn't have to, but you know, no, I will. Will I have to? Mm, maybe not. Let's find out. Uh, add migration. Link carrot. God, this has really slow input. Link characters to game. Players. Is that going to have any changes? It shouldn't do. The relationship from owner to characters cannot target the primary. Oh, of course, I'm so dumb. I did the same thing I always do. String. Add links to character. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Update database. Nice. Right. Now where were we? We were creating a character. So that wants to be game ID. Model dot game ID. And in here, uh, not in there. In here, we don't need to find the game anymore, but we probably should do. Game ID equals game dot ID. And the question is, what's it going to look like when we get here? I 
I'm getting the hang of this code first database stuff. Uh, create a character. Coco. Good, it has the game ID. It has the name. Doesn't have an ID, but that's fine. So then, we just need to do some wizardry. Uh, the same kind of wizardry we do in the game controller. To get the user. Which means this needs the user manager. And then we want to say character dot owner ID equals user dot user dot ID. Then we can save the character. And it'll hopefully be hooked up correctly. Let's find out. Look at that, we have characters. Now we don't really want this page because it's going to list every single character in every single game. But <clears throat> that's a pretty good starting point. We can at least create a character now. Probably should add some of that protecting from overposting stuff at some point. So we can edit a character, we can delete a character. So now we want to, in the details for a game, For every player, <clears throat> we want, let's see how we're going to do this. we want to, for each, oh this is going to be tricky actually, um, maybe, for each the character in model dot characters,
So what I really want to do is... For each user... I want to... For each... Var character in... Model characters... Where... Owner ID equals... user ID uh -huh. character name now that's a little bit mental but I think it might work I know I say that all the time and then it doesn't work but you got to be optimistic <laughs> Whoops. Well, so much for optimism. Uh, um, <clears throat> Let's put a breakpoint in here and do that again. User, not Bob. Model characters is null. Okay, that's why. That's why. So... In the game controller, when we get the details, we need to also include characters. We weren't telling it to load the characters from the database, so it was exploding, basically, so it didn't think there were any characters. Good. Look at that! Now that is something I'm happy pushing. You don't have any way to edit your character currently. So let's add that. <coughs> I'm not sure how we'll do that. link um, no I can find out how we do that on well right down here um, we can do this we can do Div Div Shove one of those in Wrap it in an if Character Owner ID Equals Am I passing across the current user? Yes. I should probably make this much neater. If you own the character, we're going to add another section in there.
edit characters um where's edit it's just the id id equals character id That might work, you know. I don't hold out high hopes. But it might. Let's find out. I don't like this back button. I think I need to delete that back button. Why did that explode? It's always the eternal question. Why has it exploded this time? Uh... Edit. Update the character, save the changes. Let's have a look what's what's in the character when we do that. It doesn't have the game ID or the owner ID. Okay. We should be able to fix that. Um, same way we did for the other one. Edit is going to return the character. So in details, we just need to add... No, not in details. In edit. We just need to add the same way I did in create. We need to add to the hidden field, but we need to add two of them. <clears throat> it's probably not the best way of doing it. It'll work for our purposes. And we can also put a restriction on that um, bu -bu -bu. in the character controller. We can say we can get the user probably get the current character context characters first or default ID equals ID await get the user if current dot owner ID does not equal user ID return unauthorized you ain't getting in if you don't own the character no matter what cheesing you do no matter how you manipulate it you ain't getting a change him unless you own him that's what those lines do Now granted, if you own him, you can absolutely, completely mess with him, but we'll add restrictions for that in the future.
and I totally won't forget. In fact, let's add it to the list. Make sure people can't mess with data by screwing with their HTML forms. <clears throat> Which currently they can. Okay, that's fine. Um, that just means here we need to say I need to come up with a nice way to do this, but basically we want to say current dot name equals character dot name. It's a bit janky. I would explain that, but unless someone asks, I'm not going to. I really need to move that add user button to be like, <coughs> on the details page. Yeah! Coco updated. Yeah! 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 Where's Coco's cheeky, cheeky string? Where's Coco's cheeky string? Um, oh, I can get it from um, that game that I reinstated, right? Well, shit. Okay. Need to fix that before I push this. Otherwise, I know Coco's gonna make a bunch of characters with no... with no names. Um... I thought I did fix that. That's what this does. That's what this does. <clears throat> Details, edit. How am I going to fix that? That should be stopping you putting in screwy characters. Uh, white space. That's the website. This is the one Coco was using. Why is it allowing that? It should be hitting my validation. Should be hitting my validation at that point and saying model state is not valid because of this.
That is truly fascinating. Because if I look at games... Game has that. And if you take the same thing... And you try and create a game... Did I break my validation? Uh oh, nobody tell Coco. Um, regects any amount of extended ASCII characters. But does it allow, it allow us to do that on the live page? Uh oh. Uh oh. I am, yes, Coco. The following regular expression will match any ASCII character. Yeah, that's fine, but I want to match multiple. Can't remember how you do multiple. Um, regex any amount of characters. See, that's what I thought. You just put an asterisk. Regex tester. You shouldn't have exploited it until the coding was done. You're not wrong. So they're all valid. And if I put an asterisk on, it matches it as one. Warning. No match found, including one empty match. But look, it says it says it matched the whole thing. Mental. Anyway, point is, that should work. So why? See this slash and this G? Do I need those? I know I don't need that, actually. If I put that in, does it break everything? Yes, there we go. So that's our current search. And if I was to put the Coco string into here, it would say, no, nope, you're not allowed that. And all these are invalid characters. Good. Which means that if I ninja this, what's that for the game? I need to put you down as a debugger. Yes, I need to put you down as something.
I need to put you down like a dog. That might be a bit harsh. Oh no, I lost it. Um... Yes, it is back. Now I just need to spam this everywhere. I will make an update at some point so that it checks that for every single string you try and enter anywhere in the application, but for now we'll just do it manually. Uh... Who's the Pope here? Coke with the Pope, but nobody listens to the Pope. Let's be honest. Nobody listens to the Pope. Spent too many years covering up crimes for anyone to take him seriously, I think. Good. So in my playing games, I can edit my character. What the crap did I just do? Why? Why is it happy with that? Ah! Okay, cool. It wasn't happy with it. Bear with me for one second. Oh, ignore that. That's my voice meter. You've maxed it. You've maxed what? Oh, I see. Not gonna lie, Coco, that's going beyond the bounds of the agreement. Is it not? Do you not think that is going beyond the bounds of the agreement? I'm gonna have to put you in jail, man. Hey, Cal, have you seen the jail that I created? On the Discord. Bear with me for one second, I'm just setting things up so that I can push the database. Beareth, witheth, meeth. Can't have you seeing my passwords. Right. The 
<clears throat> I made a jail on the Discord server where I can set someone's role to be jail and they can only post from within one channel. It's only going to be used in dire circumstances. Right, we should be able to publish now. Um... Go to production. Update the database. <clears throat> this might break the server. For a second. Publish. Has it done the update on the on the production server? No. Why not? Why not? Wasn't like that for you. Wasn't like what? Are you claiming that you could post in other servers? Is that your claim? Not servers, other rooms. Expect this to explode. Good. Apply migrations. Add links to character. What happens if I click this button? Hey, look at that! Brilliant! That's really nice, actually. A little bit sketchy that it lets me do that, but... Is this my game? Uh, test. So I can create a character on Mevid's game. The Uber. Mensch. I know that's not how you spell it, but it'll do. Uh oh. I didn't even try to enter weird characters. Bob. No! <laughs> I've broken everything. Why is your name Re now? What do you mean? On the Discord? On the website? Oh, I don't know, man. It's a good question. Maybe someone hacked. Maybe someone hacked the website. <laughs> Maybe someone hacked the website.
Um, so it looks like my regular expression still isn't working. I really should have tested that more before I pushed it. Uh, <laughs> but it should be working. We tested it online and everything in a regular expression tester. Can't register again, what do you mean? <clears throat> Apparently you're using weird characters. Yeah, I've totally broken the weird character thing. I've totally broken the weird character thing. Which doesn't make sense because this should be saying it's okay. Right? Regular expression testing. Get rid of these excess slashes. There's no denying that says nothing is valid. But why? Matches a character in the range, blah to blah. Match zero or more of the preceding token. Oh shit, I did one six eight to two five four. You know what that means? That means that it only lets you use weird characters. Um, regular expression ASCII. I don't want zero zero. I don't want that. I mean, I guess I can allow that. Okay, let's do it from zero. It's a little bit cheap, but let's do it. And if we do it from zero, Everything is happy. Now I get to go on a copy paste hunt. But don't worry, this will let you make your new account. I'm not going to test it, I'm just going to YOLO it. YOLO! Then it'll let you create your new account, man. Don't you worry about that. And we'll verify that. I will make a new account. Uh, register, not Callum. Is 
Is there a profanity filter? There is not. There you go. Now you should be able to make it. And... If I create a game... Uh, not Callum test game. My games. Details. Edit. I need to move this add user. And I need to call it add player. <clears throat> uh, not Callum. Good. I really need to sort the navigation stuff, honestly. It's telling you every name is taken. Well, maybe they are, man. They let me do not Callum. If all you're doing is changing the case, then it's going to say that it's taken, man. You can't have the same name with, like, different cap... Yeah, it does see capitals and lowercase as the same. Nice! Look at that! The navigation links are totally whack. What's a good replacement for doctor? Surgeon. Um... Cure. Mevib is a disease and I am the cure. Mevib is a disease and I am the vaccine. Mevib is a disease and I am also a disease. <clears throat> so... That means, if I refresh this... I should now have one character. Oh yes, there is one character. Nice. So now we can add characters to games. We can only specify names. If someone else wants to add a character, that'd be great because it'd let me test this table. Make sure edit character doesn't appear if I don't own it. I guess I could just log in as someone else, but uh, I don't really want to. I don't really want to. It's a sad, sad state of affairs. Once Coco's got his new account, he can do it. Oh no! Oh wait, that's localhost. Whew! Whew! Had myself worried for a sec. So I guess... <clears throat> the next thing... Ah, oh, nice, man! I guess the next thing I need to do is invite you. Yeah, okay. Uh, details, edit, add user. What is it? Mevib is a disease and I'm the cure. Okay. I'll copy paste it. There you go. I need to separate out playlists because it doesn't show you if you haven't made a character. Maybe that's okay though. Maybe if you haven't created a character, you're not playing the game. Maybe that's fine. Okay, you need to create a character, man. Reload. Very good, man. <clears throat> oh, look. Character, suck my big hairy balls. Player, re.
Why are you still showing up as Re? <laughs> I don't know, man, but it's really funny. Oh, it's really funny. Are you sure you're not just creating your account as Re? Is this an elaborate troll? I don't know what you're talking about, man. It looks fine to me. That's awfully weird, huh? It's a post-processing in the website. Yeah, I guess you're right. Right, now that we've got our... Now that we've got our um, character, we need to actually give the character some traits, right? A description, that's what we need. But first, I need to s push what we've got. Uh, not push, but I need to save it locally. Added characters and... Uh, the ability... In fact, yeah. Added the ability to add a character to a game. Also, fixed a bunch of regects. You're now the antivirus. What do you mean? Cool. So, oh yeah, the Aniti virus. So, that's good. That's a good test because it means I can't edit your character, but I can edit my own. I'd quite like that to be on the same line, to be honest. I think I can do that by. Uh, da, 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 where is it? Details? Details of a game? I made two divs. I really want one div. And I want to... I don't know. I'm just going to do that. That's what they used to do and it looked cool. No, it didn't. It looked dumb. Um... God, I hate... I hate HTML so much. All I want is these two on the same line. That's all I ask. That is all I ask. Guess I can get rid of this div. And let's see what that looks like. <clears throat> Probably looks the same, to be honest. Oh right, I nuked his name. Um... 
Heinrich. Well, actually, that looks alright, sort of. Not really, but it sort of does. Cool. So, what's next on the list? <clears throat> descriptions. Descriptions of games. Descriptions of characters. For descriptions, it's a little bit nastier. So, public string description. Not letting you have your mental characters. When it's a better time, you're going to do a live stream. Yeah, do it, man. Max length of a description is going to be... 256 characters. Why? Because I don't want you doing it. I think it encourages negative behaviour. Uh, right, so we need to... Add migration. Add description to game. You're gonna need some help with setting up OBS. Yeah, okay man. It's not too hard. Deal. I helped, uh, was it me that I helped with OBS and then he stopped using it, I think? Maybe? Possibly? Potentially? Cool. And then we can... Oh, did I just close that? Update database. I sure hope I set that back to development. Games. Does that have a description? Yep, description. Cool. So now, we need to allow you to set that description on create and update. Let's steal these. Description. 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 Now I need to check something. Razor text box. an input of type text. Uh, Razor ASP for text box. <clears throat>
Razor text box model property. Because normally it's quite smart. It's not a text box that I want, it's a text area. What I would do HTML text area for I don't think so. Uh, type equals text area. Let's see what happens. I don't know if that's a valid type. Experimentation is the name of the game. No, see, that should be a text area. I put it on the wrong thing. Text area requires a closing tab. Well, I guess that's fair. Is that going to work? Is that going to work? <clears throat> Probably not. Oh look, it did! Uh, the cool game with a description. This is the coolest game ever. It has a description. Coco is going to do this. Why is owner there twice? <coughs> Why is owner there twice? Oh, because I never deleted this code that I didn't want. However, I do want... Description... HTML dot text area
string expression. Text area for model description. Maybe? I don't really know if that'll work. Well, it sort of did. <coughs> Except I don't think I want it to be a text area, I want it to be a text box. No, I don't want it to be a text box, I want it to be... Just display for, let's see what it does. No, that's not cool. Display for razor with line with multi line. Cha ching. So what happens if I slam that on there? Might break the database side. Let's have a look. No, that didn't work. <clears throat> but on the details, no, on the edit page, on the create page, I guess that's fine. <clears throat> um, it's not great, but this isn't the final UI. So on the detail page, what what else was that guy saying? <clears throat> Use a string property to wrap the list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's not the one. Uh... Shit, did I close it? Um... Display for yeah. <coughs> You want to create a display template. Why? Why? Why wouldn't I just do... I mean, if that's what we're doing, why wouldn't I just do... I guess if you want to reuse it, which I do, but whatever. You know, I don't think I want this to be a DL. Um, 
think I want this to be model name. That can be a H2. We'll have a H3. Created by model dot owner username. And then we'll have a H4. No. We'll have a P model description. And maybe, just maybe, I can nuke that. Let's see what that looks like. I should really delete some of these now that I don't need to test paging anymore. Why is that not multi-line? I can get rid of details. The title can be model name do I really have to do this every time I want to check an update didn't think I had to I guess I'm wrong So that's cool, but the description is still single line, which is really not cool. <clears throat> I'm also going to fix that. It's really annoying me. It's really bugging me. I'm going to move this. Into here. Steal that whole section. Let's bring it No, that's fine, it could just stay there. <coughs> that makes the edit screen nice and simple. I'm getting rid of that back. getting rid of that back. I need to limit that, but I'll worry about that later. I'm getting rid of that back. And I'm getting rid of that back. Cool. Oh, that's better. So, we need to fix the description.
<clears throat> Just add this CSS to render multi-line. Okay. The first bit of CSS we're doing. I hate CSS. And then we can do... Class equals multi-line. <clears throat> Maybe that'll work? No real promises on this one. God damn it, I need to add myself as a player on that other game. Uh... Oh, that's a bit awkward, it takes you back here. Why is that not multi-line? Multi-line? Where's my CSS? Did I close it? I think I closed it. <clears throat> multi-line. White space pre-wrap. Class multi-line. <clears throat> I hate CSS. Okay, let's do it in a div instead of a P. Is such a thing even possible? Yes! I had to refresh the CSS. Now, there's no denying Coco is going to do this. But I think I'm just going to let him have that victory. I think that's fine. Oh, you're definitely going to do this, Coco. For the description of a game. You're definitely going to do that. Multi-line spam. In your descriptions. Spaces down to the bottom. Yeah, exactly. You can do like 256 spaces. <clears throat> um, now I can't really post the description here. I could maybe post like the first X amount of it. But I don't think I'm going to. Uh, and then we need to do the same thing for the character. Let's do that. I feel like this data type didn't actually help me. BG Sum says just give the Wikipedia link of the definition of a game. <clears throat> As a description. That'd be pretty good. Right, our characters want a description as well, so let's just YOLO that in there. Let's... 
Uh, add migration. Add. I don't know why this lags so much. Description to char character. Update database. There we go. And then <clears throat> we're going to basically have to do the same thing we just did. <clears throat> Yoink. Model name, huh? Let's get rid of that. Do that. I think that might just work, you know? I should probably have a, um, like a base class and then a <clears throat> layout, a partial layout that I can use. <clears throat> but I'm not going to. And then when you create one, we need to do the same thing. Yoink. <laughs> Let's probably add it to the edit screen as well, if we're being fair. Let you edit the description. Need to add the basic system rules to a page. Yeah, we do at some point. Don't you worry, that will all come in time. Uh, games I'm playing, <clears throat> details, god damn it, that's annoying me already. Create a character, uh, Harambe, rest in peace, sweet Harambe. And it crashes. But that's to be expected. <clears throat> so, in the character controller, when I get a character, I need to include the owner. I'm playing. Rest in peace, sweet Harambe. And then... Nice! So that's working. I'll probably move this, but uh, it's fine for now. We're just trying to get it functionally working. Now, everyone else, uh, even we, should be able to see a description of the character there, right? Or at least click into a description of the character. Uh, so on game details, I want another one of these. Which we'll just put here. I don't care. Um, maybe that'll work.
God damn it. Right, I've had enough. The navigation sure does need a lot of work. Well, whatever, that works. <clears throat> and then I can edit him. Cool. Let's, um... Added details to game and added description to game and characters. <clears throat> Before I do that, I think on the character controller. If you try and create one, you have to be authorized. If you want to edit one, <clears throat> you have to be authorized. You have to be the current user. If you want to delete one, you have to be authorized. God damn it. <clears throat> and you have to be the current user. Going hardcore on this, just spamming it everywhere. There we go. And then. Da, 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 da. I might just delete the index page. I don't think we need the index page for characters. Yeah, I'll let it live for now. <clears throat> uh, but if I'm doing that, then... I'm going to slam an authorize on that. And I'm going to slam this on there as well. Creation's fine. Sort of. Game ID, get the game, get the user, if game, if game ID does not equal, no, if game user games <clears throat> this is totally whack if you are not what's that saying sure <clears throat> if you are not a member of this game, then you ain't allowed to create a character. That's just a sad fact. Uh, 
<laughs> kind of want to do the same check inside the actual post. Otherwise, people can be real sly. I will tidy all this code up at some point. I swear. I swear. Because it is a real mess. But that's fine. As long as it works. Tidy it up off stream. Nobody cares about seeing it be tidied up. Okay, so if I log, oops. If I log out and I log in as Bob, can't remember Bob's password. Okay. And then I go here. 401, good. 401, good. But you can see the details. Cool. Let's push that update. Um, I want to set it to production environment. And I want to Update database to, uh, shit, what was it called? Add description to character. <clears throat> Let's just verify that did what I expect. It did indeed. Good. <clears throat> so then we can publish. <clears throat> and then Coco can start spamming descriptions everywhere. So if I look at all games, where's the game that I own? There must be one here somewhere. Nice. He's the man. With the master plan. Who made Port Pinko? Brian. <laughs> you here, Brian? The antivirus created by Ball Sucker Nine Thousand, whoever that is. And Coco created by me, but it's not displaying the description.
been here for a while. Why is it not setting the description? Your name's changed. Which name? Why is your name Bullsucker9000? I don't know, man. You're the one who picks the account. Look, I'm in your game. I'll even create a character. Enrico Pablez. Will it set his description? It might just be editing that doesn't work. <clears throat> Yes. <coughs> Will multi-line work? You pick a name, then someone changes it. That's bizarre, man. That's bizarre. I'm the only one with access to the database, so... <coughs> I don't see how anyone else could change it. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure you didn't make your account name be Bullsucker9000? It seems like the kind of thing you'd do. I was there. When you made the account. Oh yeah, that's true, that's true. I was there when you made the account. And I can confirm, it was not Bullsucker9000 uh, when, when Coco created the account. Just for you, Coco. Just for you, I will set it back. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I couldn't resist. I genuinely could not re resist. I'll even change your other one back from Re. No, I won't. Yeah, of course it's me, man. No one else has access. Who else could it be? Of course it's me. Even you can't change your username. <laughs> Don't worry, man. I won't do it again. I won't do it again. If it happens again, someone else must have done it. They must have found a way. Anyway, we found a bug. You'll stop using the website, but you find all the bugs. And you'll leave the stream. Well, I'm not gonna lie, that is a massive threat. I do certainly feel concerned that you might leave the stream. But, rest assured, I will not modify your username anymore. Uh, duh, duh, duh. what was the bug? Edit. Edit is not editing, and I know why. If anyone remembers, or was around at the time... See this? That is why. Visual Studio has decided to hang, but that's why. <clears throat> Let's publish again. You should make it so owners can kick people. That is probably true. Because they can add them, so they should be able to remove them. 
That is a good call, Coco. I mean, ball sucker nine thousand. <laughs> That is a good call, I'll do that. Now can I edit a description? Yes. You have to admit, Coco, it's pretty funny. <laughs> See, Brian likes your new name, you should own it. Exactly. To be fair, right? Did you not create a character called Ball Sucker? I'm sure you did. So you could say that you opened this can of worms. <clears throat> I do like your real news username, to be honest. <clears throat> Perfectly happy to have changed it back. Right, let's make it so that we can kick people. <clears throat> uh, actually, let's let's submit these changes first. Now let's make it so that we can kick people. Uh, so on the details page... How do you see the description of your game after you asked it? Uh, you go to the details page for your game. It should appear here. <laughs> Where's Brian's game? Let's find it. Is it pew pew at you too? No? You add a description to your game. Is it the one that I'm in? And it didn't show up. Oh, am I being a fool? Remember I did that fix for characters? I don't think I did the fix for games, right? Yeah. Sorry, guys. I'd actually need to do that trim. I'm going to take it off. It auto trims for me. Sorry, guys. I screwed up. If you created a new one, you'd be able to set it, but editing won't work until I publish this. Coco's new name is Saul Booker Six Thousand. Ha <laughs> ha. 
I'm not gonna change it, man. Don't you worry, I'm just teasing. I'm not gonna change your name, I swear. Right. Add a game description. This is what I get for not testing it fully before pushing it. When you edit it, it really shouldn't take you back to the list. It should take you back to the details page, right? I think we can all agree on that. There we go, it should work now. I think we can all agree that when you save and edit, it should take you back to the details page. Uh, so let's have it do that. Maybe that will work? Am I in your new game? Uh, did you add me? Oh wait, this is my local version. <laughs> I like I like the little disclaimer in the description man. That was very good. Right, I was testing something. Uh create a new game. Players aren't appearing. Players don't appear until they create a character. Can I clean out the lobby spam at some point? Mm, I probably should do. I probably should do. Okay. Coco, you get to keep one game. Brian gets to keep Pew Pew at U2. I'm gonna keep... Nah, no, I'll just create a new one. Has anyone got one they don't want removing? You all get one. You want to keep the blank one. You're just gonna fill it up with spam again, man. And if you fill it up with spam again, you're getting a name change. As in you're just gonna make a million new games. Right, we'll keep these two. <clears throat> Adios. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Gone.
How are there still more? Oh, there was more than 20. Oh, you know what? The rest of them can stay. I'm quite happy having my not column test game. And I guess you can have those. Yeah, it's because edit by default only edits the top 200 rows. Oh, I already had it open. <laughs> Sorry, Cal. Okay, me, uh, Coco, you can keep those two. I was gonna add something. The ability to kick people, right? But I was testing something. Uh, what was I testing? I was in the middle of testing something. Cal did in indeed join with Cal back. I was testing- oh, I'm logged in as Bob. Um, let's create a new game. This is a test game. <clears throat> Calback should exist. There he is. Calback. Um, yeah, my games. Edit. Save. Takes me back to details. You might have to do shift F5 every so often to clear the cache. It should be okay, but if it's ever being dodgy, try doing a shift F5. Unless you're on a mobile, in which case I don't know how you clear the cache on a mobile. But it should clear the cache by default, so you should be alright. Uh, then I want to... <laughs> Add a user. <laughs> Bob. I should probably add a button for add myself, right? Or it should add yourself by default. It should add yourself by default. So that does that. Create a character. El Hombre. The fastest man in the West. Edit. Save. Takes us to his page. Cool. Why did it take me to the character list? It did that when I created a guy. So when we create a guy, it should probably take us to his details page. Uh, create. It should take us to the detail, detail page. Wonder if this is gonna work. <clears throat> you accidentally logged out and forgot your password. Oh, I've done that so many times, man. So many times it's not funny. Half the users on there are me with 
multiple passwords. Uh, create a character. El nombre. Description is actually optional. Takes to his page. Cool. <clears throat> then on the details page for a character I want you to be able to go back to the game so is this gonna work As much as I took out all those go back buttons earlier, I'm actually going to re-add them, but they're going to be cleverer. Um, details, ASP, controller, games. Model dot game ID. Back. Um, game. And a great idea to advertise the server. We don't really want to advertise the server, man. <clears throat> server isn't quite ready for advertising. But once it is, what's your idea? That's better. I mean, it's a bit whack. You should really just be able to click on... I should have the game name somewhere. But that'll do for now. Oh, to advertise the Discord server. Put a link to it on here. Join the Discord. I probably should do that at some point. Uh, right, let's... Actually, I was going to do that for... When you're on details, you can go back to the game. I don't really need a character index, but I guess we can keep it. What have I changed here? I have... Done that. Done that done that. Okay. Tidied some things up. Not the best commit message, but it's good enough. Right, I'm going to publish again, so it's going to go down for a sec. <clears throat> Oh, I'm tired. I only slept three hours last night. Three glorious hours. <clears throat> three glorious hours. It's a new day for you, you've not slept. There we go. Right, navigation should be, be a bit easier now. It's not going to be great, but it's a bit easier. Right, you can click on the details, and then you can go back to the game. When you edit a character, when you save, it takes you back to the character, then you can go back to the game. It's just a little bit of a quality of life improvement, not a big one. <clears throat> but it actually is quite a big one. Um... Right, how many games are we up to? <clears throat> no! <laughs> no! Who stole Bob and not Bob? Oh! 
I can't believe you've done this. Bob and not Bob are my best accounts. At least I got Callum and not Callum. I forgot the password to Callum. But at least I got Callum and not Callum. He stole Bob and not Bob. Bob and not Bob are my guys on my local server. Is there a way to see who's been added to a game already? And that's funny. <clears throat> um, not unless they've created a character. Let's fix that. Um, For each user... Okay, we can fix that easily enough. Um, let's steal this. Let's put it there. Let's delete that. <clears throat> Maybe that'll work? Why can't Arbiters of Fate create AFPCs? They will be able to, man. They will. Oh, I was also going to make it so that you're automatically added as a player to a game when you, um... There should be a way to make it public so you don't have to add anyone. I'll add it to the list. Speaking of which, is this list out of date? Make games... Make an option for public games so anyone can create a character. That's a good call. <clears throat> um, okay. Uh, name. Done. Description. Done. Stats, not done. Learnings, not done. Equipment, not done. Fair things, not done. Is there anything else anyone feels should be on the list? I know I just went away from the list, but I left it up for a good, decent amount of time. What was I testing? I just made a change. You probably should sleep a bit, Coco. I'll add a suggestions bar at some point. I know it'll just get spammed by Coco. But I will add one. What the hell did I just add that I was going to test? Oh, I know. Hello, the gaming croc. If user characters where user dot characters.
if model dot characters any x x owner id equals user id if they don't have any characters just add an empty row for them do I have any ideas on what things to make to practice C? <clears throat> when you say C, do you mean C? Or do you mean C++? Or do you mean C sharp? Just C. I did just C, uh, back when I was in uni, but we were learning it to make <clears throat> computer games. So like, it depends, depends what kind of skill level you're at, depends what kind of practice you want. Let's add not Bob and see what happens. Hey, it adds him, but he doesn't have any characters. This mother effer hasn't created any characters. <clears throat> Let's push that. You're learning C first, since most languages are built off of it. It's not strictly necessary, but I admire your mindset. Yeah. Make really basic text input games. Games inspire creativity. <clears throat> so make a really basic game. The best first first ever coding project in my opinion should always be guess the number. I firmly believe that. Guess the number. It generates a random number and the player has to guess it, and they input a number, and it tells them if it's too high or too low. No, 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 not Tic-Tac-Toe Man. Too complex for a first... first project. First project, you want to be super, super basic. <clears throat> Beyond basic, so that you can have the satisfaction of doing it, but still learn the ultimate basics of programming. And a guess the number game will teach you about variables, if statements, loops. How long have I been programming? Professionally 12 years and then four years of uni and then two years of dicking about in school, so 18 years? 18 years? My math might be wrong on that. Quite a while. Yeah, 18 years. Maybe 19. I just made another... No, I didn't make another change. I published. Let's check it works. Nice, look. It works. Uh, you're looking for an online course to learn programming. Do I recommend anything? No, I do not. I don't really believe in online courses. I'm sure a lot of people get use out of them, but I don't really believe in them, so I don't know anything about them. 
so no, sorry. It's not really my style. Wish I could be more helpful, but I've never done an online course in my life, and I never would. What I would say is take a goal, like, for example, a simple number game, and whenever you don't know how to do something, Google it. But don't take an online course because that's just going to spam you with stuff and you're not you're not it's it's not going to sink in man it's not going to sink in you'll sit there and you'll do a course and at the end of it you'll go what did they say at the beginning you know i just don't believe in it i think they push too much at you too fast it's like people who go on like a coding camp and they're like i learned to program c sharp in 2 weeks and it's like, no, you didn't. You might have learned how to write C sharp, but you don't understand it. You don't you haven't gone through the pain of making apps to figure out what works. You cannot possibly do a boot camp to learn to code in two weeks, no matter what anyone says. You'll be a shit programmer. Yeah, Stack Overflow, man. Stack Overflow or just searching. Like Stack Overflow is your best resource. Like, that's what I do, you can see it in my streams. Whenever I don't know something, you just search. And you don't look for... ...videos or anything like that. Although videos could be nice if that's the kind of medium you like. But you'll always find a post on Stack Overflow where someone is explaining the exact issue you've had. Or you'll find a blog post, something you can skim through and find the thing you care about. I think self-teaching is the way to go. But, your mileage may vary. It's always worked well for me. <laughs> Cheers, man. And no worries. Uh, da, 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 da. So this is working. Now we need the ability to kick someone from a game. And when we kick someone from a game, we have to delete all their characters. So that's going to be quite interesting. Although I use the term interesting loosely. Um, thanks for that update on your phone battery, man. Updated player list to include people without characters. Right. In a game, if you own a game, uh, how are we going to do this in the username? If character owner, no, if we need the user ID first, I should really store this in a variable somewhere, but tidying up is something we'll do later. <clears throat> if Model dot owner ID equals so if you own the game and no you can mm, yeah if you own the game and actually there is an and and <clears throat> user <coughs> ID does not equal owner ID. So you can't kick yourself from the game. 
because you own the game. Now that might be a controversial decision because you might want to pass ownership over to someone else. But we're not worrying about that just yet. Either way, if you own the game, you can't kick yourself from it. But otherwise... <clears throat> Um, remove user. ASP root ID equals character. No, user ID. Kick this fool. Then, in the games controller, where did I do add user? Oh, look, we have a leave game function. If you leave a game, it needs to delete all your characters. Game character uh, var my characters equals current game dot characters where owner ID equals my player no user. user dot id <sighs> context remove range my characters there we go so when you leave a game that should now delete your characters it's not going to do it Speaking of which, um, that needs to be game ID, no, user ID, and then we need ASP root game ID, model dot ID. So then we need a, as well as this, we need remove did I call it? Remove user. Yeah, remove players better. Remove player takes a game ID and a user ID. So find the game ID. If game ID has value, if game ID does not have a value, return not found. Should never happen, but if people are trying to be dodgy, it might happen. Get the game. I can put that there. Load the users, get the current user, my player, uh, that wants to be 
uh, user ID. So we're searching for the user. I'm going to rename that to player ID. Uh, <clears throat> there we go. Should probably check that right at the beginning. We return not found this time. It's not that you're not authorized. It's that you're not found. I guess the first thing we want to do is once we've checked that the game exists. No. Straight away, we want to get the user. Literally, the first thing we want to do is get the user. <clears throat> no, wait. We want to get the current game first. And we want to say if user tell you if I need some testing on the website. Yeah, can do, man. If current game dot Owner ID does not equal user ID. Return unauthorized. If you don't own it, you can't remove a player. You can leave, but you can't remove a player. Also, I'm going to steal that. And I'm going to say, if you own the game, I'm going to return bad request. You're not allowed to leave a game if you own it. You can delete the game, you can't leave it. I might make it so that you can leave it and it gives someone else ownership of the game at some point. But for now, we're just going to say you ain't allowed to leave it. Live with your mistakes or delete the game. Because I could see situations where someone rage quits and deletes an entire game and all the people who've been playing that game are like, man, that was brutal. So, we'll probably update it so that if you leave the game and you're the owner, we just change who owns the game and give it to someone else. <clears throat> As to who we give it to, Whoever we find first. Who is a player in the game, obviously. Um, right. Yeah, for now, you're not allowed to leave the game if you're the owner. You are not allowed to kick someone from the game. If you are not that person. And in here... You're getting a player. You're removing a player. I'm not gonna lie, I got kinda distracted there and I'm not convinced this is correct. But maybe it is, let's try it out. So my games, not Bob. I can't kick him, why not? Why can't I kick not Bob? Uh, buh, 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 buh. Why 
Why doesn't your games show the games you are in? Um, it probably should, right? I could just have them in one list. I made two separate lists, but they probably could be one list. Because <clears throat> my games are games that you own. Um, it probably could just be one list. Why is this... Owner ID is blah. User ID... is 12FB. 12FB. Okay, so that's trying to do Bob. <coughs> that's trying to do Bob. Oh, I know why. I'm such a fool. I need to put it in there as well. There we go. Hey, Cal. Are you there? Okay. Here is my question. On a scale of 1 to 10, how pissed off will Mevid be? when I tell him I'm not playing C and Re at 8 o'clock. Ah, look! Kick this fool! 7 out of 10. Yeah, probably, right? Not found, not found. Okay, that's fine. Um... Let's see what's going on. Oh, it's literally not finding it. Games, remove player. Games remove player, right? Ooh, game ID doesn't have a value. Game ID equals model dot ID. Let's try this again. I want to see what's in the root. Also, this music's trying to be too epic. I'm going back to my old music. That's better. Kick this fool. Game ID equals... Oh, I'm such a... F oh. I missed out my app. So it literally made it say model ID instead of replacing it with the model ID.
You were just getting into that. Sorry, Brian. It's It was trying to be too intense. You don't want intense when you're programming. Too distracting. You start thinking of epic sieges. Good. Well, shit. Okay. Let's put that breakpoint back in and we'll step through it one line at a time. Get the current game. It finds the current game. Get the user. It gets the user. It says, yep, you are authorized. And then it tries to find the player. And it doesn't find the player. What's wrong with that? It's distracting, man. It's distracting. So when I get the game, I need to include the app user games. First or default. You bet a bunch of epic game scenes were created to epic background music. True, but the programmers who were programming like the physics engine probably weren't listening to epic background music. Or they were. <clears throat> But, uh, I'm certainly not. It's all down to personal taste, isn't it? I find it too distracting. My games? Details. Kick this fool. Maybe this time it'll actually kick this fool. Well, that's even worse. Good. Just checking that doesn't have... James says... Hey James, James says, one thing programmers do is get in the zone, which means intense concentration that can last for hours. Intrusions are distracting and therefore avoided. Yeah, except for YouTube chat. But that's okay because you guys are a cool intrusion. If I was just ignoring you guys, the stream would die a death. And you guys give good input. <coughs> uh, the innumerable, okay, let's just step through it again. It's complaining here. Because I haven't included characters. That was easy. Also, this line is getting unwieldy. I sure do need to tidy up this code base. I'll do that tonight after I stop the stream. Nobody wants to see me refactoring for hours on end. Except maybe James. A def wouldn't be the same if I ignored chat. Yeah, totally, right? Come on, not Bob. Please get kicked. It took us back here, but that's okay. Because not Bob is gone. Nice. Let's change where it takes us. Redirect to... I've got it somewhere in here. Here. Current game ID. Let's invite not Bob and then kick him again.
Shouldn't take us to the edit screen. <clears throat> James says, but Callum also isn't getting in the zone here. This is programming light with distractions. Takes a bit longer. In the zone is boring for those watching. Yeah, totally. Which is why I would do my refactoring off camera. Nice, we can kick him. When we add him... I don't like it going to this separate page, honestly. We should probably just have it on the same page. We should probably just have it on the same page. But for now we don't, but we can at least make it so that when you add a user it takes you back there instead of to the edit page. Do I use MSVS refactoring tools or ReSharper? Um, I kind of just do it all myself, honestly. I just kind of manually do it. I don't really like refactoring tools. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Where is it? Add user. Don't go to edit. Go to the details page. So that'll be a little bit nicer. It still takes you to that separate page. Cal says theory. James is just one of Callum's co workers that joined the stream. No, no, no. James has been around for ages. <clears throat> James says, My use is limited. Help me by changing this class name to that class name everywhere in a file. Yeah, true, true. I do that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Resharper then. So we still have to go here, which I don't like. <clears throat> but at least it then takes us here. Right, let's push this update. I would change that to be the ad user on the same page, but I'm not going to. For now it's okay. The quality of life is improving though, it's getting easier to navigate the website. Uh, added ability to kick a user from a game. One thing I should check before I push this. Brian says, when are we going to get into the game part of this? I'm assuming it will be a simple back and forth chat like D&D. &D. No, 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 no. It won't be a simple back and forth chat. There will be a simple back and forth chat. But there will be a lot more to it. <clears throat> we'll get into the game part of this. Um, when we get there, I guess. I know that's not a very useful answer. Like... You see when you want to perform an action... We'll have a little UI for submitting an action that you want to do. <clears throat> and then... The uh, AF will confirm that that is a legitimate action. And will tell you the dice roll, the coin flip for it. And then, I don't think it'll just manually do the, the coin flip. I think you'll have to confirm that you want to do the action. And then it will flip the coins, tell you how it, tell you how it generated it. <clears throat> Might let you apply any modifiers that you want that you've got. Like if you have a potion that you want to drink to improve your chance.
James is correct, the 8 to 20 rule. 80% of the code takes 20% of the time, and the last 20% of polish takes 80% of the time. And I always give up at that last 20% of polish. I make something that works, but is ugly, and then I give up. I'm hoping I won't do that this time. But realistically, I know that I probably will. But maybe not, if I stay motivated. That's the trick. Cal says, maybe like a box to the right that the dungeon can make like a room or dungeon on. Yeah, exactly, right? That'd be like advanced if you wanted like a movement grid, etc. Let the AF set one of those up. Um... <coughs> That'd be way down the line. I think initially the AF would just be able to push like an image or a series of images. So they would have to do it all offline and then they could push them and all the players could see them but longer term you would want something for being able to create maps within within the game itself yeah i don't really like it either man but you need a first step you know making something where you can actually generate content from within the app is a lot more work than just letting someone generate it offline and then upload it into the game. Um, you would need to improv too much for that to be useful. Probably, but for a lot of D&D, uh, &D, like if you say like there is this scroll that you found and they will put up like an image of a scroll that has writing on it, stuff like that. Or like, you've just met this guy, and they might push up like a picture of a guy. If they've actually planned out their sessions. You have to take into account people who've planned out their sessions. And aren't just YOLOing it. <clears throat> anyway, what I was gonna do is log in as not Bob. It's a good job this remembers his password, because I sure don't. Create a character. Not Bob's character of Doom. He's a real Doom monger. Nice. Then we log in as Bob again. Oh, Bob isn't even in my list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when we kick not Bob, it should delete not Bob's character of doom. And this is why we test. Why is the game ID null? Model.id I changed that! Oh my god, I only changed it in one place. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Good. I thought that was going to be a much worse error that was going to be a real pain in the ass. I'm happy for it to be I missed off an at symbol. Got not Bob's character of doom. Now we check the database and we check that it actually removed him.
It sure did. Good. So now I'm happy pushing that. Fixed an issue with kicking players. Let's publish that. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. You know what we really need to figure out? <clears throat> you know, the fabled lists. The fabled lists. Anyone who was on <clears throat> Discord for the planning of C and Re understands the fabled lists. <clears throat> but basically... Um, <clears throat> yes, the lists. <coughs> People will want lists. Like, when they create a character, they'll want a list of learnings that they can choose from. They won't want to come up with their own ones. Sometimes they will. And we'll allow that. But, um... We will need some sort of learning managing system for the lists. But I think that's what a rule set will be, maybe. We'll have like a rule set concept. And a rule set will con contain um, a whole bunch of stuff. Different learnings, different birthings, different spells maybe, different abilities, different equipment. Stuff like that. It's not really a rule set, but that's the best word I can come up with for it. Uh... So now I should be able to kick Coco from this. Yes! And I should be able to leave the game and it should delete Enrico Pablas. Shit! This is why I should test. In leave games, I did not do all the includes that I should have done. This should all really be common code, but... It's fine. I'm tired. <sighs> Rip me. This relaxing music isn't helping. It's like a lullaby. Maybe I should put on that intense music again. Right, when I leave, good, takes us back to the list. And if I check the production DB, Enrico Pablis should no longer be a character. He sure isn't. Brilliant. So 
So that's really good. Um, fixed an issue with leaving a game. Right, a character really needs more than a name. That's just a fact. A name and a description. <clears throat> There's no denying that a character needs more than a name and a description. <clears throat> James says, throw up are you sure messages so that you don't accidentally delete a buffed character. Well, there is the question of um, transitioning characters, right? Because you might play a character in one game and want to use him in another game. Yeah, exactly. Um, they should be, yeah. They should be able to be. Um, maybe it shouldn't delete your character when you leave the game? It should just remove... that character from that game, but not actually delete the character. And then when you join another game as well, when you go to add a character as well as being able to create one you could import one of your other characters I think your character would only be allowed to <clears throat> be in one game at once, right? then you get into all sorts of headaches On player info screen, list of characters, games each character is assigned to slash playing in, and player can delete from there. Yeah. <clears throat> I think so. I think that makes sense. I think that makes sense. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. So for that... I actually want to make it so that when you leave a game... <clears throat> yeah, because I'm just deleting them. I really just want to say... Remove... Is there remove many? Remove range? Surely there must be. Can't expect me to do it one at a time. No way does it expect me to do it one at a time. I'm only deleting one code from one character in the leave game. No, because you might have multiple characters in the game. You may have multiple characters, you might be playing a game where you're allowed to play as two characters at once. <clears throat> Am I going to have to do this as an halfway? Do 
Two characters at once breaks your brain. Yeah, I know, right, but it doesn't break some people's brain, and that's what counts. I would never play with two characters. But I know some people do. <clears throat> well, I guess I'm just doing it the lame way. Let's see if it tells me I can turn this into a link statement. Uh, that is whack. But it will work. So let's try that again. Uh, the same should probably be true when you kick someone, right? It shouldn't delete all their characters, that'd be a bit... A bit uncouth. A little bit uncouth. What if you're playing two characters and want to remove one to use in a different game? So you're playing one character each in two games. <coughs> um. Well, we'll have to add another button here, right? For like... <clears throat> uh, remove character or something? Let's log in as not Bob. No! <clears throat> Let's log in as Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to reinvite not Bob. El Dudarino. <clears throat> Now, when I leave the game... <laughs> well, that's true. That's certainly true. There's no arguing with that. Why? Oh, this is going to be super whack.
<coughs> no, it's just that I'm modifying the enumerator. It doesn't hit the DB until we do that, but yeah. It's it's modifying the characters whilst I'm enumerating the characters. There has to be a simple way to just say, remove this set of characters from this. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Set characters to be the characters who are not the current player. It's a little bit dumb, but whatever. Am I modifying the wrong file? I'm modifying remove, not leave. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not really a fan of four, leap, four loops. There's always a way to solve it with Link. I think I have. Right. Now, if we go to... Characters... Did it delete El Duderino? <laughs> For you, solving with link equals remove link. That's good, man. Why would it remove El Dudorino? That's the wrong database. Brian says, what time do you get up? You always seem to see up till 1 or 2. I get up at 6 and I couldn't do that day in, day out. I usually get up at 8. Why is that deleting? <clears throat> I mean, it's clearly saying he's not referenced in current games, so I can delete him. But it's not okay to delete him because he's still referenced in the player. Because the player, the app user, has a collection of characters. And I'm not saying to remove him from there. I'm just saying remove him from the current game. Yeah, it's not too bad, man. I get like six, seven hours sleep. It's all right. If I wasn't working from home, it'd be a bit worse, but uh, I am, so it's not.
Uh, let's log in as Bob. Let's invite not Bob back in. I need to figure out why it's doing that. Please don't delete me. Right. He exists. Now... What constraints do we have? We have no constraints on games. That can't be right. So he has a link to an owner and a game ID. So because I'm... No, but... Oh, it's not allowed to be null. Game ID is not allowed to be null. Game ID totally is allowed to be null. Uh, no, but game ID is allowed to be done. You once had a two-year spam where you worked about 18 hours a day and more on weekends. It was brutal code dev. Ugh, I could not do that, man. That'd be too much. I'd break out in hives if I have to work for like an extra hour. Game ID is not a primary key, it's just ID. Game ID is a foreign key. Now it says it's not allowed to be null. But I'm sure foreign keys are allowed to be null. I guess it can't be null because it's a big int. Yeah, but I didn't set the relationship. Uh, I guess that needs to be like that. Let's see if that updates the database. Uh, add migration. Make game ID. Oh, this is so laggy. Optional on character. It's going to drop the foreign key, it's going to add the foreign key. And it's going to... <clears throat> so that's if you delete the character. Right? And it used to be a cascade delete. Yeah, it drops it and then it re adds a new one. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um... But that's okay because it doesn't remove the column, so then it re adds it. 
So it should be fine. Um, hopefully. Let's change our environment to development at least. But it's not deleting the field, it's just deleting the relationship. <clears throat> it's just deleting the constraint. It's not deleting the column. Observe. <clears throat> Why is it made it owner ID nullable? I guess owner ID was. Game ID. Oh, that's that's the production database. No, that's my local database. Why? I guess owner ID was always nullable. But you see, they're still hooked up. Why, why, why is game ID not nullable? Um, make game ID optional on character. It is also still not null. I don't know why. I've set it to be nullable. Code first, nullable foreign key. Yeah, look, you must make your foreign key nullable. That's what I did. I wonder if it's refusing the command since the command will result in data loss. But it won't result in data loss. Look. See? It's all fine. Now it's nullable. <clears throat> Now granted, it might freak the F out. Shouldn't have really hacked the database there. <clears throat> no no, it didn't it didn't drop the col it didn't drop the column. Um The order of operations was not drop the column. <clears throat> it was drop the foreign key. It was altering the column. So it was dropping the constraint, altering the column, and then adding a new constraint.
Yeah. I know I was right. But I still don't understand why... Hey, look, it didn't delete him anymore. <clears throat> now it's actually doing what I wanted to do. But the question is, why the hell... Is it not accepting that? I mean, it is, but I don't want to have to manually fudge the database, you know? I don't want to have to manually fudge the database. Here. Go back to game 29. Sure, gonna freak out about this. That might have duped my data. No. <clears throat> Put not null back on the column and figure it out. Yeah, that's the plan. <coughs> Catch you later, James. Uh, da 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 da. Add migration. What is changed? Nothing. Uh, remove migration. So the last migration is make game ID optional. Which is making game ID nullable. So why? Brian says, I think you all should revisit Pew Pew at you and create a character. Uh, Pew Pew at you. Brian the Kid. Callum's doppelganger. He's not Callum, but he can sure put up, but he can sure act like it. Now I'm no longer called a mother effer. Yes. I think I should put these actions in a separate column. But why is this not Why is it not altering the column? Is 
Is it doing it on my production? It's doing it on production. Am I attached to the wrong database? I told it to do it in development. Hey, Mevib! I was just pointing at the wrong database. I was just pointing at the wrong database. There is no God. Oh yeah, eight o'clock! Oh yeah, that's right. It is eight o'clock. Well, it's past eight o'clock. That's going to work now. Uh, updating. No. Leaving kicking from a game no longer deletes a character. Here's the thing, Mevib. <clears throat> I'm just going to be blunt. It's not happening. I'm too engrossed in making this website. It's too addictive. <laughs> Later, Mevib. Right, what was the other suggestion? Where is it? Was it really that long ago? Where is it? Ah, James said, on player info screen, list of characters, games each character is assigned to. Player can delete from there. That's what we need. We need... The character index. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call that a 7 out of 10, Cal. I don't know if I'd call that a 7 out of 10. Very hard one to judge. If we go back later and the Discord server's deleted, we know it was at least a 9 out of 10. Yeah, index. Index needs to require authorization. It needs to take a, an ID and it needs to get characters 
Where? Owner ID equals ID. And I think I need to include owner. And I think I also need to include I do feel bad for me, but he has been wanting to play for a long time. Uh, include game. There we go. <clears throat> so now... If we go to slash characters, it's going to freak out. It's going to have no one. But if we do slash characters ID equals shit, I don't know anyone's user ID. Um, Bob. And we can see Bob's characters. And, well, okay, we can't delete them because we're logged in as not Bob. So we need to also, as well as just doing that, we need to do the old get the user. And we need to say if ID does not equal user dot ID return unauthorized. Sorry, buddy, no dice. Which means if I get not Bob's ID. And we do the same thing. Oh, right, yeah. Um, please don't delete me. Sorry, buddy. You're gone. What? Character owner ID does not equal ID. Oh, it's taking us back to the default page. So it is deleting him. Uh... Index new ID equals, in fact, just ID, I think, should be fine. Delete Harambe. That should be letting me in. I'm such a wally.
That shouldn't be ID, that should be user dot ID. There we go. <clears throat> Maybe did leave, yeah. Uh, <laughs> details. Create character. Gonna be deleted. Is it? It's not that one, it's the other one. Delete. Yes. Takes us back to the index. Now you shouldn't really be able to create a new one here. So let's remove that from the index. You should only be able to create a new character in a game. Uh, my characters. H1. My character. We sure do get start going down a rabbit hole here. Like if you edit a character and they're not in a game. I guess I need to start thinking about the rule sets idea. Because let's say you're playing in Mebib land and there is a learning called Walking, because Mebib's obsessed with the walking learning. You take the character out, and you want to take him into another game where they have different learnings. You can't really let them just show up with Mebib's super powered walking learning, can you? Maybe you can. I don't know. I'll be back in a sec, I need a drink. Something I need to ponder right now though, because we're gonna start adding character statistics and stuff. And them transferring across games is gonna be a bit sketchy. But before we do that, we'll make it so that as well as adding a new character to a game, you can import one of your other characters. But I'll be right back.
Okay, I am back. Let's see. Cal would assume it's fine. Well, there we go then. I guess it's fine. Um... I would assume it's up to the Arbiter of Fate to decide whether it's fine or not. Right? The owner of the game. Also, I'm eating a sandwich. So we're having a bit of downtime for a sec. I assume it would be up to the Arbiter of Fate to decide. So I think... We should maybe just an option to allow importing of characters or characters from other games. I think that might not be enough. I think we definitely want that option. Because if someone wants to import a space pirate into a fantasy game it's not really gonna work is it it's just not going to work Okay, <clears throat> I ate half my sandwich. Let's go through how I think it could work. Back to my old friend, Notepad. Notepad, plus plus. <clears throat> Did you know that the name of the programming language, C++, is, in itself, a pun? Right. <clears throat> So, you have a character. He is in game A. Game A is a space pirate. Sure, spice is a spice pirate farming simulator. Game B wants to move to game B, which is a 
Deep Sea Squid Adventure. It's just not viable, is it? It's just not viable. Because Example learning. Stealing. <clears throat> I don't know the name of any spices. What's the name of a spice? I literally don't know the name of a single spice. Name of a spice. Pepper. Stealing pepper. Deep sea squid adventure. Example learning. <clears throat> um, tentacle manipulation. <clears throat> Just ain't feasible. So, what we do is we say game A. <clears throat> uses sp uh, spice pirate farming simulator um, it's not a rule book but let's call it a rule book game B uses deep sea squid adventure rule book Game C doesn't want or feel it needs a rule book and welcomes all. <clears throat> so, creating a character for game A will link into the rule book. He can only join other <clears throat> games that use that rule book. Or don't restrict based on robot. Right? <clears throat> that way you have the best of both worlds. You can either YOLO it and say whatever. <clears throat> have whatever you want. Or you can say You could even say uses two different rule books. And then you could have an importing system where if you do want to move a character to a different rule book, 
you could trade your learnings for learnings from that rulebook. But what you might find is that most people just say, I don't need a rule, rule book. <clears throat> but there will be people who want those restrictions. And with rule books come the sweet lists, right? So, what would a rule book contain? <clears throat> a rule book has a name. It has learnings. It might have character like races, species, maybe, which you would use as a template to create a character. It would have how many uh, learnings a character starts with. Stuff like that. <clears throat> In fact, that's probably enough to begin with. Now I know this might seem complex, like overly complex, considering our game is supposed to be simple. But <clears throat> people are going to want to restrict in such ways. That is a fact. Or they're even just going to want to access a rule book for inspiration, right? So building them in at the ground level is probably a good idea. <coughs> so maybe we should start off doing learnings. Learnings are nice and easy. Sort of. We're definitely going to want a, date, a database table for them, so let's create one. Uh, the thing is, the order in which you create these things is not super important, but it is useful. However, I think we can guarantee that we are going to want a learning class. <clears throat> that will have an ID. It will have a name. It must have a name. In fact, I'm going to steal this. Not only must it have a name, but it's not allowed to be a stupid Coco name. Specialized. I'm even going to use the Z instead of the S. Public learning. Oh, I should probably specify these. Uh, 
learning Thai. Mm-hmm. There needs to be a word. I haven't come up with a word yet. Learning type is not... It's not really what I want. But it'll do. And we also need... Learning... Level. Basic. Master. We might want to add other ones, you know, as well as basic and master in the future. I'm going to make master be 10 just in case. required. That is required. Well, learning level is not required. Not for an actual learning itself. It's only when a character has a learning that they require the learning level. <coughs> cool. So... Does it need anything else? So we want a list of learnings. And they just kind of stand on their own. Don't tell me there's a typo, yo. I know what I'm doing, to an extent. They don't link to anything yet, which is okay. And then a character... <clears throat> will have a... Public collection not of learnings but of character learnings. And a character learning uh, speaking of which I want that to be a long as an ID 
Uh, it has a learning. I've learnt my lesson on this one. It has a character ID. And it has a character. <clears throat> and in here, I also want a list of character learnings. Nice, nice. So what does that mean? Let's jump straight to the point. If I add a controller for learnings, let's give it a little while to figure that out. Then an index of all learnings. That seems all right. The details of a learning. That seems all right. Create a learning. That seems all right. Edit a learning. That seems all right. I'm going to get rid of these binds for now. They're only if someone's being malicious, and I don't care if someone's being malicious right now. Once you've edited a learning, I want it to take you to name of details new ID equals ID. Okay, I guess I don't need that. <clears throat> Uh -huh. Delete a learning. That might get real sketchy. I might have to make it so you're not allowed to delete a learning. But for now, we'll allow it. So, let's see what that does. <clears throat> Oh right, I need to update the database. Uh, da, da, da. Almost forgot. Uh, add migration. Added learning. Do I want to do that yet? <clears throat>
builder entity. Character learning <clears throat> has one learning. With many. No, wait. Just has one learning. With one? It only has one, right? A character learning. Has one character with many character learnings has foreign key. Character ID. So that's going to hook them up. <clears throat> yeah, and the character learning, before I forget. also has uh, learning level basic equals zero eh, basic equals three master equals six that's going to come in handy later Maybe. Basic equals one, master equals three. Master equals two. <clears throat> you get double the benefit if you're a master, whether it's generic or specific. Public. learning level there we go now I should probably have done that before I created these no I think that's okay actually because that's good for creating learnings that's cool um Am I okay with... Where's my package manager gone? Where the hell has my package manager gone? Restart Visual Studio. Let's forget the closing it mid command. There we 
go. <clears throat> Give it a while to wake up. And let's try that again. <coughs> okay, that's fine. Um... Add my gration Yeah, mum. Ooh, did that get rid of the lag? Added learning. Sort of, sort of got rid of the lag. Let's see what that tries to do. <clears throat> it creates a new table. With an ID, a name, a learning type. Creates character learning table. It sets up the foreign keys on learning and character. <clears throat> if you delete, okay, so if you delete either of these, it will delete your character learning. Creates a bunch of indexes. That looks okay to me. Did that give us our new tables? It should have done. It sure did. We don't have any, but it did give us them. So if I run this, and I go to slash learnings, I can create a new learning called walking. Why is that not populated? <clears throat> Business as usual for us. Why is that not populated? Wow, this is coming along. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, kind of. Um, Razor input enum empty. Uh, dot net core it's 
Fix. You to give it the type of the enumeration. Yeah, learning type. What if I steal this? Yoink. Maybe that'll work. Learnings. Create new. Walking. Okay. We have a learning. Who's all the users on the site? Um... We have 24, I think. We have 24 users. Are you going to add literally every user to your... You would like to add people to a game if it can't be public? Can't be public yet, Brian. There's your list, if you wanna... You can always pause the stream and grab it. This is what you care about, the username. I think. No, you care about the email. Which is not always the same. Actually, I think it is always the same. They're the ones you care about. There you go. <clears throat> so. We have our first learning. It is the classic walking learning. Now, we need to be able to assign that to a character. <laughs> we'll add we'll add public games um at some point. <clears throat> Shouldn't be too hard. So the question is at what point do we add a learning? I think we do it on the details screen. I think we do an add learning option. I guess we could do it on the edit screen, but then it's going to get a bit weird. I think we do it on this screen. Let's go back into it and play about. Uh, details, great character, Mr. Learner. So I think edit is good for the name and the description. 
think everything else you should apply to a character. I think that's reasonable. <clears throat> so... This isn't going to be nice, but it's it's how we're going to do it. Um, I should probably check on everything we've got so far. Made quite a few changes since my last commit. Added the creation of learning. Um, no, did I lose my history? No. I needed that history. Bear with me. Update database. <clears throat> Did that do the update for us? It sure did. <clears throat> Good. Then let's push what we've got. Now I'm aware that this stuff is not exactly complete. <coughs> and is super jankable. But, it's at least a start right, and it means that I won't be pushing one mega update that'll do everything. As long as I push updates, in small increments, then we should be good. <clears throat> Let's see. There's no authentication on this. So, uh, knock yourselves out. Meanwhile, How are we going <clears throat> to add a learning description? So we need a on character. We want <clears throat> to be able to 
It's kind of an edit, so let's steal edit. And let's call it <clears throat> add learning. And then we'll add a new view called add learning. Our template is going to be empty. Cool. <clears throat> We're in uncharted territory now. So, well, are we? We've got that add user. It's going to be very similar. Um, add learning view model. Add learning. That will have an ID. It won't have a username. So let's create that. Add learning view model. How do you insert a copyright symbol on a browser page? Look, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know. But I bet I can find out real quick. Check this out. Okay, don't check that out, that was a failing build. Because I have a copyright symbol right here. Let's view the source. There you go. You want ampersand copy. That'll do it. <clears throat> ampersand copy semicolon. Now, where was I? Uh... Ah, yes, my add learning view model needs a uh, ID. I guess that should be character ID. It needs a public ba, 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 ba. learning. I'm going to go totally crazy with this just for just for ease of access. Um, public eye collection of learning. We need a public <clears throat> learning ID. And I 
We need a public learning level. Learning level. I'm totally winging this, by the way. I've got no idea what I'm doing. Character ID. Then we want steel from the create. Like how that guy didn't even say thanks. He just popped in like I'm tech support. And was like, how'd you do this? <clears throat> Done. I'm not hating, but it is kind of rude. Let's steal that. Put that in there. No wait. Let's do that. Learning type, right? Learning view model does not contain oh learning level. Uh Oh you're watching, fair enough. All is forgiven. All is forgiven. So, bu -bu -bu. on the character details, let's add learning the model ID. Sure. Brian says, you are kind of free IT though. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> it's okay. I don't mind helping people. Um, right, let's see where that breaks. I don't want to go to edit. I want to go to details. Add learning. Will it break now? Almost certainly. There we go. That's fine. So that's because I'm passing in a character. What I really want to do is uh, add learning view model. Let's stop it. I want to do view model character ID equals character dot ID. I guess I don't really need to do that. I've got the ID here, but whatever. View model. And then we need to get all the learnings. All the learnings. So view model learnings equals context learnings. Cannot convert. Fine. To list async. Await. Oh, and then we return view model. Let's see where that explodes. Okay, so we can select a learning level. But we can't select which learning we want, right? We can select which level we want, we can't select which learning we want. But we are passing them through. Now's where it gets really sketchy. Let's see if we can figure this out. It might just be one of these, you know? Let's steal this. Mm. 
learning. Wait, does that not have learning? Learning. No, it does have learning, right? No, it's got a learning ID. I want it to have a learning. Select ASP for learning. ASP items is going to be model learnings. There's no way this is going to work. There's no way. Cannot convert to I enumerable. Well, I mean, I can convert it to an I enumerable. I don't know why it can't. Cannot convert list. Oh, select list item. Oh, that sucks. Okay. HTML dot get List box returns a multi selection select for the expression. Okay, so what if I get rid of this? List box for learning model learnings object HTML attributes no that should be fine what's that complaining about There's no argument that corresponds to HTML attributes. I know. I collection cannot be mapped to select list item. But it didn't say it needed a select list item, right? It said I needed. Well, okay, maybe it did. <clears throat> Maybe it did. So what I really want is for it to display a list of all the learnings that have been added. Okay, we can do that. Um, uh, model learnings select new select list item it takes text and value text is going to be name value is going to be ID and we want that to be list box for learning ID. Can't convert from long to string. Well, that's not annoying at all, is it? Um, I want my value. Fine, we'll do it the shitty way. Don't need that anymore. Right, let's see where that explodes. And I'm going to put a breakpoint in.
Well, okay. No, let's just see where it, see if it explodes. Let's see if it populates our list. That's what we expect it to do, right? Populate our list with all the learnings. Look at that. I mean, I will grant you, it doesn't look nice. It could definitely use some improvement. But it does let us select a learning. And now it will explode. Why didn't I explode? I mean, it didn't work, but... Because I haven't created my post yet. Public async task I action result add learning add learning view model model Turn. No wait. Yeah. Shh. No. We want to go to the details of the current character. Put a breakpoint in there and let's see if it hits it. We'll also authorize it. Don't want people to push in that. Push into that if they're not logged in. Oh, I didn't put my. I didn't tag it. I should just bookmark this page, honestly, but... Will it hit our breakpoint? Yes, it will. What is in model? Character ID, the learning ID, the learning level. That is all we need. So it didn't actually add it, but it did get us to the point where we can add it. And that's what counts. So, if, well, let's get our user. I really need to tidy up this code. It's getting beyond crazy. Let's get our user, if, well, uh, let's get our character, yoink, uh, model character ID, if model equals null, return bad request. That should never happen, so if it does, they can just have a horrible page. So we've got the user, we've got the character. If character owner ID does not equal user ID return unauthorized. So now we have the character. We want to say character Let's include K. 
character learnings. Where... ID equals model dot character ID. First order default async So character learnings add new character learning with a character ID of character ID a learning ID of learning ID and a learning level of learning level. Why is that complaining? Oh, of course. If model dot learning ID if string dot this is so dumb. String dot. No, wait. String converter. Dot. No, not string converter. What is it? I'm sure it's string converter. Convert dot to int sixty four model learning. That returns it or it throws an exception. Try is there no try to? Int sixty four. That's a bit dumb. If a string shit, how do you do this then? Not the kind of thing you have to do very often, and I shouldn't have to do here. <sighs> String try convert to long. Int 64 try pass, thank you. If int 64 try pass model. This is so dumb. Learning ID. Out var learning ID. If it doesn't succeed, just return bad request. We don't care. And then here. That can just be learning ID. Uh, context update character await context save changes async. And that should theoretically allow us to add a learning to a character. The one other thing we want to do is here. No. Oh no, did my music stop? No, it just hung. Is here, you see we're adding all the learnings. We want to say where character dot character learnings. It doesn't like any, it likes all. 
x dot <laughs> learning ID does not equal No, that's not what I want. I want to say where... Well, first of all, I need to load... the character learnings. And that means I can't do find async. But I can do where... id equals... id? First or default async? So we have our character, so we want to return all the learnings where character dot character learnings This is so whack, but it'll work. Any learning ID This is this is so dumb. Um I'm sure there's a nicer way, but whatever. Learnings we wanna get all the learnings where that is not true. And then it's going to say, why don't you switch it to be an all? Okay. So we're saying if if none of the character learnings are this learning, add it to the list. And what that means is when we've added something to a character, it'll be removed when we go to add another one. Kind of painful process there, but should work. Maybe. I guess we'll find out. And let's see if that works. It'll probably explode somewhere, but that's par for the course, isn't it? Whoa! <laughs> it really did not like that query, huh? It really did not like that query. That's fine. I didn't like it either. Me and the application were on the same page. I feel like I can do... What am I working on? Adding a learning to a character. It's almost there. In fact, it is there. It's just I don't want you to be able to add the same learning twice. Although maybe you should be able to. For now, Let's just say fine, you're allowed to add the same one twice, right? Let's just see if it works. <clears throat> Arguably, if you add it twice, it should increase it to master, right? Did that add it? Sure did. Good. <clears throat> so now 
in our character details. We want to include our character learnings and in here we want let's just do something basic uh, H or learnings for each <clears throat> I hate how it does that um, it's not how I write my for each statement. Sod off. For each var learning in model character learnings. Select learning <clears throat> oh it's got learning level as well okay never mind in character learnings um let's just uh how do you do a list how doth one do a list? <clears throat> UL, which is what, unordered list or something? So we want that to be outside of that. LI. And we want this to be. Learning learning name slash learning. We'll do a nice to string at some point, but we're not yet. Learning type. To string slash learning learning level to string. Now that's going to explode, but that's because I had to do something like this with game, right? I had to do something like this with game, game details. Had to do that weird thing here. Yoink. <clears throat> For each learning in character, character learnings. Reference learning. There we go, now it'll work. Maybe. Maybe? It'll probably explode, but let's see. Look at that! They don't call me the God Almighty for nothing. I know, I know. That's not that impressive. But, it is pretty cool. So, if I push that, that means we can technically sort of make character sheets on the website, right?
Maybe. I guess we'll find out. And I already pushed the database to production. So that's okay. I'm gonna roll myself a celebratory smoke. I can't believe that worked first time. Well, I say first time. First time I went to that page, at least. Where's Brian's game? I'm going to be the first person to pimp out my character with the walking. Yes! Now there is an issue, I think I can modify Brian's. Oh no, I'm not authenticated, but I do need to hide... I do need to hide that link if I'm not Brian. So for that, on the details page for a character, we want to hide this if we are not Brian. <laughs> we can steal that from Index, I think. Probably put edit in there as well while we're here. I feel like they should not be indented, but whatever. I feel like that should be indented less. This is what's whack about this, honestly. Um, you have your indenting, and then you have your HTML indenting, and the two don't line up. So it's very, very weird, is Razor. So let's check that. If I log in as Bob... If I can remember his password... Yeah, I know, it's not secure. Uh... Okay, we actually want to be logged in as not Bob. Should be a game created by Bob, right? There we go. I can no longer edit his character. Let's push that. Very nice. I didn't even have my celebratory smoke. Rip. <sighs> you know, I'm not convinced three hours sleep was the best idea. But I'm being mega productive. I'm being mega productive. <clears throat> it never is a good idea, yeah.
Hey! Oh, I'm such a fool! Oh, what a fool I've been! I knew there was something I had to do. Yoink. I really need to tidy this code base. It's getting worse. It's just getting worse by the minute, isn't it? That's fine though, as long as it's functional. Where did Bob's game go? Oh, I'm on my games. Yeah, it's gone. But is it there for is it there for my my characters? It sure is. Good. Let's push this update. I've got the fastest delivery cycle known to man. I'm pushing updates every 5 minutes. Granted, half of them break the functionality, but still, it's a good turnaround. So now if I go to Brian's game... I can no longer... modify his learnings. Or it doesn't even give me the option. We couldn't in the past, but it just gave us that horrible 401 unauthorized. Now it just doesn't even let us try. I should probably make that say non if there are none, huh? But... whatever. Pink is the kid! Created by Patino. The kid is a force to be reckoned with in the West. Challenge him to a duel, and on eight, he'll pew pew you in the duels. <laughs> Fair enough. Now the problem is, I can add walking again. Well, okay, I can't, but... It shouldn't explode. It just shouldn't be in the list, right? It just shouldn't be in the list. We also need to add the ability to remove a learning. And then once we've made a character, we need the ability to lock them down. So that you can't cheekily change your character in between games. Now I think how that should work is... You submit your character to the owner of the game and they approve it. And once it's approved, there's no going back. Unless the owner decides to unlock it for you. Maybe. I don't know. I just don't know on that one. I need to give it more thought. 
A lot of the tricky stuff is how to manage people's characters. And that's the stuff we haven't really thought about. But that's okay. I do want to solve that issue where you add it twice. And let you remove it. I think for now, I'm going to call it a day, folks. I'm tired. And I only got three hours sleep last night. So I'm going to relax for a bit. Maybe play some Dominion. Maybe just go to bed. <clears throat> I'll spend tomorrow morning, probably tidying the code base. I'll do that off stream. And then in the afternoon at some point. Yeah, I know I'm not going to sleep, man. I won't be able to. At some point in the afternoon, I'll uh, start up another stream and we can continue the extravaganza. Hopefully tomorrow when I start the stream we will... <clears throat> have a nice cleaner code base to work with. And also, before I end the stream, I feel like I need to do my due diligence. Cal already knows what's coming, I suspect. But I do feel like I need to do my due diligence. And my due diligence is this. There is the Discord, if anyone wants to join. It's a bit weird in there, but don't let that scare you off. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. I'm glad people are enjoying these streams. Um, and if I keep talking, I'm going to have to say I'll catch you later again. So, yeah. Adios!